Marie Lozier and my film is in the Forum Expanded. It's L'Oiseau de la Nuit, Passaro da Onote. Um, it's sort of a portrait of Fernando, who is a very cult figure of Lisbon nightlife um, from the discotheque of Finalmente. And the legends and sort of fairy tale about Lisbon um, transformation of people into animals. It's probably not your first time, it's not your first time, I know it's no. not your first time in Berlin, and also not at the festival because you've been showing your work here quite a lot. Um, but how has it been so far? How has I your just arrived been? yesterday and it's okay. as okay. wonderful as always. <laughs> Beautiful. I love you the Forum Extend Expanded, expanded so it's yeah. really important for me. Yes. Yeah. This time you brought like a, a short, shorter piece, 17 minutes I think. Um, and I'm, I'm first really curious about your um, interest and curiosity and fascination with uh, drag, <laughs> drag culture. What does it mean to you? Or like, what is it? What is it's it? hard to explain because I think it's a very natural environment for mm. me. Mm. From first yeah. day I've ever made film, which was with the Kuchar brothers, mm. uh, twin brothers from New York, mm. who are both queer and mm. who also make films with their friends and also dress up with dresses and make up their own boys and company. Mm -hmm. So for me it was very easy to sneak into this um, pattern and lifestyle in New York City. Mm -hmm. And it's a very, I don't really dissect it or analyze it. Right. It's a very normal environment and many of the people that I've met through my work, uh, through many of the films, have been more or less in that environment mm -hmm. and media, from Genesis to mm -hmm. Some are not, but it's always a, it's a very underground uh, film world, mm -hmm. and in that world, there's not this delimitation of narration and um, fiction and mm -hmm. more classical. Mm -hmm. So you can actually push the barrier of anything. What what kind of beauty do you find there? Oh, it's so beautiful to see a man dress with mm -hmm. a dress and makeup mm -hmm. because Why? suddenly the body. Since I really, really a lot of the work is about the movement of the body and how every person has a different way of uh, walking, being and everything and I think when you put men into um, dresses or you, you work with crossing uh, lines on every level, it's freedom and it's kind of a beautiful way to uh, accentuate that freedom and that mm -hmm. way of um, changing your vision of things. Mm -hmm. It's a very playful world. Mm -hmm. And in this period, or in this project, you actually follow a um, Portuguese legend. Fernando de Barra yes. Cristal. Yes. yes. And uh, there are different contexts we're like exposed to. What, first of all, how did you meet? Or like, what's the relationship background? I mean, Fernando the... is someone I've really discovered thanks to João Pedro Rodriguez, because mm -hmm. Um, I have a really beautiful friendship with João Pedro mm -hmm. and my introduction to Lisbon has been from the nights I spent with João Pedro who mm -hmm. would take me to this little disco place mm -hmm. that is only open very late at night mm -hmm. that is so tiny mm -hmm. and it's called Finalmente mm -hmm. and the king of the stage is Fernando mm -hmm. who does a lot of um, uh, performances doing songs and costumes and he really struck me and then later on I saw uh, João Pedro's film To Die Like a Man mm -hmm. and Fernando was the main actor mm -hmm. um, who was playing mm -hmm. uh, in his film and I got introduced to him by João Rui mm -hmm. and João Pedro mm -hmm. and um, from then when I was asked to do this film for uh, Indie Lisboa it was a commission of mm -hmm. four films to make a feature mm -hmm. with four filmmakers mm -hmm. Denis Coté, Gabriela Bentes, uh, Dominga Sotomayor and myself mm -hmm. it was almost evident that to me the film had to be about the night mm -hmm. and with the main actor being Fernando mm -hmm. and he accepted very beautifully mm -hmm. We Before we started rolling you were already saying that you are more a person that feels comfortable in the analog world and um, what like talking about the technique what does it give to you how does it help you to convey and tell your content or I mean it's a very or? personal approach I think I don't have anything against video or right. for video it's right. I've always learned to make films with film on 16 millimeter with a Bolex camera right. and in a way there's no sync sound it's a very precise way of 
when you shoot it's so expensive and so precise you have to know what you shoot mm -hmm. and it's also very much involving the body it's a very physical thing for me and I shoot my own films mm -hmm. and it's almost when you shoot you almost edit your film right. and there's a uh, there's the magic of film also is that you shoot and you never see your image yeah. you just look and you wait for processing and scanning of the celluloid to then have the results mm -hmm. so it's a very different focus at the moment you're shooting mm -hmm. the image it's also very close for me for painting mm -hmm. and I was in art school doing painting I never mm -hmm. did film school mm -hmm. and to use film was for me a very strong important thing mm -hmm. to play with tableau mm -hmm. and tableau vivant mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. to work with that theatricality and texture and materiality and color of mm -hmm. what film gives you mm -hmm. and what kind of life is that that film gives you you know like you because it's like the, the living tableau you know like it's um but then it's also very different yeah what what um what life do you show do you know what i mean or not what, no what, what kind <laughs> of um how do you capture life with this with this medium yes, or with the yes, moment with this medium well with this medium or it would be with video it's really how you shoot and how you vision your film and for me it's often a series of tableau it doesn't mm -hmm. have a strict narrative mm -hmm. it's more like I draw actually I draw every yeah. every scene yes. and then I set up the environment yeah. when I choose the environment and the lighting I invite the characters within that space mm -hmm. so as if it was a tableau I do a sort of mise en scène okay. and then I direct them but they let them also totally improvise because what I love is how each of them since they're not actors um, what they give because of their body, because of their strangeness and each of their characters is what I love most and what comes out of the film as a surprise and I think it remains very fresh for me. It's very theatrical, yeah. dramatic too. Yeah. Right? Um, how did you choose this project now? Like, how did, you, how did you choose the scenes and do you think about content or narrative at all? Is there like a structure? I mean, I did think very, for a very long mm -hmm. time what I wanted to do about Lisbon and why. Mm -hmm. And first by choosing Fernando, it delimited it to a very specific environment mm -hmm. um, of Finalmente, this mm -hmm. drag mm -hmm. um, disco and the whole world of dressing up. And for me, it was about layering the skin uh, from the man to the costume, which is another skin, to become suddenly a bird and different kind of um, goddesses of Lisbon history because the city was built on seven hills and the legend is of often about um, the legends of the snake woman the, and I transform all these animals into the bird, the octopus, all these different characters became through the skin of Fernando so there was a narrative but it was more through a fairy tale and tableau like that myth, very, like myth, yeah, like, yeah, there's no dialogue, yeah. it's yeah, exactly. much more about a um, sort of musical film about the nightlife, my vision of the nightlife of Lisbon. Mm. And that's how I started looking for the Natural History Museum with the taxidermy section, mm -hmm. with all the birds, mm -hmm. and then the, um, the sewing, um, the sewing atelier. In the beginning. The, yes, yes, and yeah. then the mermaids. Yes. This is taken from the legend and I made it my own world so with the friends and the environment and the world of Fernando, Joao Pedro and Joao Rui and the whole group of Indirishboa who were the supporter of this film and commissioner. Yeah. Yeah. So you really create layers and layers of, of moments and realities and, and sort of like your own universe or universes or just moments you know however you want to call it but then I was just thinking because you you're original French you're from France but you've been living in New York for a very long time and now you're based in Paris again and if you just look at the world right now that is being portrayed through mainstream media it's it's a very fucked up place yeah it's a really it's weird a very dark and dangerous moment, moment. So, yeah. And when you were just talking about your way of using film and creating your own reality, do you have any relationship to this dark world? Do you I see do it? completely. I mean, I uh. live it very, very closely to my heart. And I think um, even what's dark in me, mm -hmm. or what's 
very emotional mm -hmm. always even when I want to do something very very dark mm -hmm. it comes out as a sort of celebration of life <laughs> and becomes full of colors and joy yeah. so I think as you make film you yeah. discover what's your strength and what you're capable or not capable of doing I wish I could do a Tarkovsky film or a mm -hmm. Fassbinder doc but it always comes out like as a sort of celebration party so I guess that's where I am, that's how I live film. Mm -hmm. And I think it comes from a very far place where the films that I grew up with that really, really marked me were the Jacques Demy film, um, Singing in the Rain, all the musicals. So the slapstick, silent film. Um, there's this theatricality, the dance, uh, the camp film of Jack Smith. There's always the this costumes, thing. The costumes, the Costumes, the mix, Carmelo Benne. Yeah. Uh, from Italy, there's yeah. something about the painting, the theatricality, and the sort of uh, performance style mm -hmm. that always comes all together in my mm -hmm. in my way of working. Mm -hmm. And what what are your feelings and hopes and thoughts about the, the current state of the world? Do you? What, what do it's you hard for me to like to respond to this because I can only hope for a better place for mm -hmm. um, artists also and everyone, but. Um, it's hard to for one person to carry and really give a message because I think it's only by making small positive work that we can only make it a better world but we can't change the whole world. Mm -hmm. I can just only hope to keep going mm -hmm. and keep adding and mm -hmm. keep making poetic work so that it becomes a better world at least little by little around us mm -hmm. um, because it's very hard to be an artist today. Mm -hmm.